In the first heat of our race, we have water, rubbing alcohol, and cream. Water finishes first with a time of 0.233 seconds, and rubbing alcohol finishes last with a time of 0.4 seconds. In the second heat of our race, we're going to be racing olive oil, lamp oil, and vegetable oil. Lamp oil finished first with a time of 0.467, and olive oil finished last with a time of 0.633 seconds. In the final heat of our race, we're going to be racing honey, maple syrup, corn syrup, and dish soap. First across the finish line is maple syrup with a time of 1.33 seconds, followed by the blue dish soap with a time of 4.633 seconds. And then slowly but surely, the great corn syrup crosses the line with a 19.5 seconds. And then finally, honey with a 20.767 seconds. Here are the results of our race. Water crossed the finish line first, meaning that it has the highest flow rate and the lowest viscosity. Honey was last across the finish line, meaning it has the lowest flow rate and highest viscosity. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. All substances are made of tiny particles called molecules. All molecules have a force that keeps them around other molecules of the same type. This force is known as cohesive force or cohesion. Cohesive forces are strong in solids and weak in gases. In a liquid, these forces are strong enough to keep the particles close together, but weak enough that they are allowed to slide past each other, giving liquids the ability to take on the shape of their container. But how do cohesive forces affect viscosity? Viscosity is the measure of how easily particles of the same type in a fluid are able to flow past each other. Or in other words, how strongly a fluid's cohesive forces will affect the movement of its molecules. Viscosity can be measured by calculating a fluid's flow rate. In liquids like honey or maple syrup, particles have a high cohesive force, making it hard for the molecules to slide past each other easily, giving the liquid a high viscosity and a low flow rate. When it comes to liquids like water or rubbing alcohol, the cohesive forces are very weak, which allows the particles to slide past each other easily, giving the liquid a low viscosity and a high flow rate. Viscosity can be affected by temperature. When we heat a liquid like honey, the molecules gain energy, move further apart, and the cohesive forces between the honey molecules becomes weaker, decreasing viscosity and increasing its flow rate. On the other hand, if we cool honey, the particles lose energy to the outside environment, move closer together, and the forces between the honey molecules become stronger, increasing its viscosity and decreasing its flow rate.